Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Today is Happy New Year, January 1st. Yeah, yeah. 2021. Happy New Year, everybody. God bless you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I took a long nap after this morning's episode and then went out there, went to the supermarket, bought some food, and then went to the lake, frozen icy lake, and I ran. And I did some push-ups on the frozen lake with my bare hands. Hundred times, okay? Yeah, that was nice. You remember Mr. Anthony Boudin, the cook, author? Also, he would travel the world and, yeah, eat all this wonderful food anywhere in the world. Yeah, Mr. Anthony Boudin, he was a cook, author, right? Yeah. He passed away. He decided to end his life. Well, my guess is that he he overworked. I think he didn't quite know how to control the situation, right? Uh, it's kind of important. Okay. Marilyn Monroe, yeah, also. I think she decided to terminate her own life, like Anthony Boudin, because they were not able to control their life, right? They were too busy. Pushed by the studio executives or television executives, okay. But, if you are smart, even if you are very famous, you should be able to negotiate it out, okay. If I bec ever become Hollywood superstar, yeah, I'm not gonna overwork myself, okay. I will negotiate with studio executive, right. You know, yeah, thank you for opportunity, but I need a one day off. Sunday. On Sunday, I'll turn off my cell phone. Alright? I'm not gonna overwork, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can reduce my salary. Instead of $2 million, yeah, just give me $1 million, okay? That's fine, okay? But I need one day off per week. Sunday. Alright? And Sunday, I will not be reachable. I turn off my cell phone, okay? And I go somewhere where nobody can find me. Okay? Yeah, you can negotiate out. Yeah, reduce your salary, but have some day off, okay? I think Marilyn Monroe, Anthony Boudin, they were not quite capable of doing that. Okay, so they overworked. So life was so painful because they didn't get any rest. I think that's why they decided to terminate their lives, okay? Lesson learned, right? Yeah. So that we don't repeat our bad history, okay? So Mr. Anthony Boudin once said, A life without cheese, stink cheese, is not the kind of life worthwhile living. Okay, that's what he said. Something like that, okay. Well, I, Mr. Anthony Boudin is a good author. He got many quotes, right? But sometimes he's so mean. Some bad mouth, dirty mouth, okay, so... I was not a huge fan of his show, okay, it's kind of mean, right, rude, dirty mouth, okay, sometimes I liked him, okay, yeah, sometimes, kind of like personable, right, down to earth, but other times, yeah, it's kind of mean, right, I mean, but, I mean, he said, yeah, a life without stink cheese, it's not the kind of life that's worthwhile living, but, at the same time, he decided to terminate his life and when he ate all those stink cheese, right? Yeah, but it's kind of disrespectful to say that because, um, how about vegans? They don't eat cheese. So, is Mr. Anthony Boudin is saying people who live vegan diet style is not worthwhile life to live? That's not nice to say. Come on. I mean, vegans, I think they're great. 
we gotta learn from vegans, okay? Because Americans, they eat too much cheese, okay? So why am I talking about cheese now? I went to sh supermarket, I bought, bought some cheese. Brie, brie, right? French brie, love that cheese. And some other cheese, okay? Because it's been a long time since I ate any cheese, okay? So, so Mr. Anthony Boudin, yeah, his appreciation of cheese, like kind of like fermented cheese, Good point, okay, so I bought some chips. <laughs> I eat some of it, okay. Brie, B R I B R I, okay, B R I. And some are another kind of cheese, like cow milk cheese, okay, so. I'm kind of excited about it. I don't normally do this. I don't eat cheese normally, okay? But I think, yeah, Mr. just like Mr. Anthony Boudin said, maybe once in a while eating cheese is okay, okay? I wouldn't go as far as what he said, like, life without a cheese is kind of life not worthwhile living. I wouldn't go as far as that. But, I would say like, yeah, once in a while eating cheese, maybe it's just okay. Yeah. Once in a while. I think eating cheese once in a while may be okay, okay. That's what I would say. Right, we'll take five minutes, okay? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so I think we should learn from vegans, vegan diet, because Americans, they eat too much cheese. I, che I eat cheese like once in a while, once in a blue moon, really. Okay. So we gotta learn from vegans. They don't eat cheese, all right? Americans, they eat too much cheese, okay? So I'm kind of halfway in the middle. I eat cheese once in a while, all right? So. That's fine. Yeah. So happy new year, everybody. And uh, yeah. So let's talk about BLM, okay? If I may, okay? Yeah, BLM. Yeah, I love blacks. I love whites. I love police officers. How about criminals? Well, I pray for them, right? Okay. So BLM nowadays, like picking on police officers, picking on white people, so I cannot join them. I have too much respect for the race, all right? I love blacks, whites, and police officers, okay? I, I cannot join that kind of movement where 
black people picking on white people, black people picking on police officers, I cannot join that. Okay. So I love police officers, I love white people, I love black people too. Okay. It's just that uh, BLM ideology is not good nowadays. Back in the days it was good, okay, but nowadays got some corrupted ideological corruption, okay, so Not my cup of tea. Eh. Well, how about LGBT? Uh, pro LGBTism. Like Lady Gaga, you have all that stuff. Like, yo, rain on me. Like, like divination, right? It's, if you think about it, it's creepy, right? Oh, Billie Eilish. Oh, this. Lady Gaga, Billie Eilish, this uh, divination, like, rain on me, oh, yeah, demon, satans, like, satan, devil, yeah, rain on me, yeah, divination, okay, demon possession, right, that's Lady Gaga, Billie Eilish, okay, not my cup of tea, oh, no, this LGBT, all that stuff, ah, oh, boy, not my cup of tea, okay, it's creepy. Strange people, right? <sighs> Very weird people. Oh boy. So demonic. <sighs> In my opinion, they're like devil worshippers. Okay, they they're like Satan worshippers. What's wrong with these Hollywood people like this masked singer, masked dancer? It's like, is the world coming to an end? It's like abomination, this apocalypse. Satan worshippers, okay, it's this, oh my goodness, it's like, what are, what are they doing, this Hollywood? <laughs> What's wrong with those people, Hollywood people, like, it makes dance to this, like, it's like abomination, right? Yeah, it's like, Is what coming to an end? This abomination, highness, this this monstrous mask, and oh my goodness, it's like horrible. What's wrong with those people? Ah. Oh. I mean, back in the days, if you study fine art, European fine art, okay, yeah, this was called grotesque art. They are cool, right? Even in Eastern fine art, yeah, Thanka, Thanka, right? Yeah, there's some angry gods in Buddhism, Tibetan Buddhism, okay. Quite scary, okay? Yeah, you have Shiva, you have this angry god, okay? Quite scary, but that's cool. I kind of like it, okay. So, yeah, this Asian version of grotesque, monstrosity. But today's monstrosity, like Billie Eilish, Lady Gaga, divination, rain on me, oh yeah, LGBT, yeah, Satan, devil, yeah, rain on me, divination, demon possession, right? Horrible. I don't see any beauty in there, okay? I think that's very bad. Masked singer, masked dancer, horrible. And you have this Hollywood is dancing with the stars. Yeah, this ethnic guy and white girl pairing up together. It's like 666 to me. Okay, it's, to me, that's like Antichrist, that's devil, destructionism, ultra interracialism. Okay, I, I, not my cup of tea. Okay, it, to me, that's like abominable. Right. What's wrong with those people? <laughs> They're like destructionists, right? Yeah. Not a fan, alright? Not a huge fan. Not a fan at all, alright? Okay. Do you want to see me eat cheese? I show you. Okay, we'll take five minutes break, okay?
I choose on camera. The last time I ate some vegetables on camera, right? Yeah. I had some cheese on camera, okay. Why? Something new. <laughs> yeah. Nothing illegal, nothing immoral. No, not really. Why? I eat cheese only once in a blue moon, okay? Once in a while, I, I think that's fine, okay? So, yeah. Just for a change, okay? So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's take five minutes, okay? So, yeah, I'm not in the mood of drinking because I drank too much earlier. So, let's eat cheese, okay? What am I doing? Eating cheese on camera? What's wrong with me? Oh.
Okay. Have you ever seen Asian guy eating a cheese, piece of cheese? I show you. How does an Asian man eat a cheese, piece of cheese? Okay. Well, not a every Asian eat cheese like this, but I'm kind of strange kind of Asian. <laughs> I'm very strange kind of Asian, okay? So I'm gonna use chopsticks. Alright. <sighs> With some weird. Yeah, brie, brie, okay, yeah. It's quite good. I'm kind of thinking... <laughs> what would I... What would it taste if I put some vodka in there? Cheese vodka. Let's do it, okay? <laughs> How would cheese vodka would taste? I'm kind of curious, okay, so... It's nothing illegal. It's not moonshining. No, no, no. We are not making vodka here. But, I'm kind of curious... Maybe never tried before. And definitely not in my life, but in the world, human history, okay. What if I put vodka in this? Brie cheese. How would it taste? Let's do it. Okay, so all right. Interesting idea. Well, I got a final cup, right? Let's use this. Is this and yeah? It used to be this. Uh, this. Uh, this cup used to be the, what's that, the, the dry red wine cup, but it's nothing illegal, nothing dangerous, just vodka and cheese. Cheese vodka, okay, I, I'm kind of curious, how will it taste? Nothing dangerous, nothing illegal, immoral, right? I'm just curious, okay, if I put cheese and vodka I'm kind of wondering how it would, it would taste yeah this cheese is quite good okay it's brie right so let's put in the vodka and see how vodka cheese vodka would taste Okay, so I got the cheese here, brie, it's quite good, okay, so I'm going to save this for later, okay, yeah, let's save this for later, and I'm going to pour some vodka in there, right. let's see how it tastes, nothing illegal, nothing dangerous, it's just vodka and cheese, I, I don't think anybody has ever tried this before, it could be very first time in human history, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing history in the making. The va cheese vodka, okay. <laughs> cheese vodka. Yeah, we'll see what's what, okay. So, yeah. Alright. Let's take five minutes, okay. It's quite good, yeah. Brie, brie, cheese. I like it, yeah. It's delicious. <sighs> this is my milk in blue cup. Peppery milk.
Okay. Stink cheese vodka. Wow. Okay, let, let's take a sip at it. Okay, so. Right now it's just vodka, okay? It's, yeah, let's get the juice out slowly, okay? It's quite good, okay? So, uh, cheese vodka. Nothing illegal, nothing dangerous. Just cheese vodka, okay? It's an experiment. Anyway, so what did I do earlier? Yeah, after I woke up from long nap. Yeah, I took care of the business, okay? The year-end report in presidential election as a candidate and also Alaska State Senate candidate. Yeah, year-end report. That was that. I took care of it, all right? So how much money did I spend for presidential election? About $4,000. How about Alaska election? About well, one thousand okay. dollars. Yeah. It's public knowledge now. It got done. They accepted my report. Okay, so cool. All right, so yeah, it's, it's done and over with. When it comes to the United States Senate election, uh, well, I wait until the deadline. I didn't file it yet. Why? If I file it, then I have to do this quarterly report. Okay. We can wait on that, okay, so, yeah. I can take a break from election stuff. Yeah. So, humanology, yeah, the copium shield spear theory, right? It's this, okay. Back in the days, in Asia, Europe, there's this castle, right? And some enemy force invade, try to break bridge, break the wall, right? Yeah. Back in the days, okay? They find the weakest spot in this castle. Sometimes they dig under, maybe a tunnel, underground tunnel, okay? Or they try to break into the wall, they find the weakest spot, alright, to breach the wall, invaders, right? In animal world, yeah. Grizzly bears chasing this bison herd, okay, and typically grizzly only hunt the weakest individual, right? Kind of the weakest link, right? Yeah, that's how it happens. Okay, so, like, editorial cartoonists, of which I'm a huge fan, of whom I'm a huge fan, they're people, right? Yeah, editorial cartoonists, they poke fun of President Trump about his hair, right? Or his philander or kind of womanizer, or his weight. Right, they perform with okay, so his weakest spot, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like mosquito sucking blood, right? Yeah, piercing the skin, some wicked spot, right? They don't try to pierce the nail, mosquitoes. They cannot pierce the nail, fingernail or toenail. But they find some weaker spot like skin, poke a hole in it and drink blood. That's what most kiddos do. And that's why I don't like them. I don't like most kiddos. I think they're horrible. They're vampires, Dracula's, right? Plus, I can most kiddos. Yeah.
That cheese was really good, right? So, cheese vodka, I'm not sure uh, if it's gonna turn out well or not. Doesn't matter. So, something new, right? Brie cheese vodka. Let's see. It's quite good, okay? So. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, so So if I woke up earlier today went to the supermarket, bought some food and pasta. I love pasta, okay. You don't see me eat pasta? Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't think that's necessary. Sure, I I show you. Okay, I, let's eat pasta. Okay. Uh. Have you ever seen an Asian guy eating, eating pasta? <laughs> I'll show you. Have you ever seen Asian guy isn't eating a pasta? Okay. I'll show you. Okay. I'm not all Asians. Eat pasta like this, but you know me, I'm kind of strange, kind of Asian, right? So, I don't say I'm an exceptional Asian, I'm just weird Asian, okay? So, when I eat pasta, yeah, I use my chopsticks, okay? So, <sighs> happy new year, everybody. <laughs> Test of heaven. <laughs> what if I put vodka in the pasta? Okay, pasta vodka. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna do it. All right. And what if I put kimchi in a vodka? I don't think I'm gonna do it. Okay. And I, I, I don't think I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. I, it is too much. Okay. So. Kimchi vodka, pasta vodka. What's wrong with me? Okay. Uh. I know what's wrong with you. You're an alcoholic. Audition case. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, I'm not going to put pasta in the vodka or kimchi in the vodka. <sighs> kimchi vodka. Pasta vodka. This sounds pretty good, but I'm not going to do it. It's quite good, okay. Oh boy. That's enough. Oh. God bless Italy. Italia. Pasta, oh boy. Italian cuisine, one of my favorite. Okay, ah, oh, huge fan of Italian food. Pizza, lasagna, pasta, spaghetti. Those people know how to cook, right? Italia, oh. Yeah. Okay. We take five minutes, okay? Good food.
Well, let's have some dessert. All right? Yeah, fruits. Okay. Have you ever seen Asian guy eating berries? I show you. <laughs> okay, nothing illegal, nothing immoral. Okay. Ooh. Not every Asian eat berries with chopstick, okay, but I'm kind of strange kind of Asian, okay, so yeah, blackberries. Mm. Quite good. Blueberries. Raspberries. Strawberry. Mm. <sighs> Give me a reason to li live another day. Give me a reason to wake up in the morning, right? <sighs> Taste of heaven. Paradisical. God bless Alaska. God bless America. God bless everywhere in the world. Good food. So good. Yeah. I don't eat much, okay? I just taste just a little bit. Yeah, it's holidays, okay? I'm not at work, so I'm not hungry. I don't use too much energy nowadays because it's holiday season, right? I just stay at home, so... I don't need to, need to eat very much. Just a little bit, right? Yeah, that's enough. <sighs> Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Yeah, it's, it's good to be alive, right? Yeah, it's wonderful food. Just a little bit testing, right? Yeah. Then we are happy campers, right? Yeah. It's good to eat, good to live. Yeah. Good to be alive. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Happy New Year. Cheese vodka, huh? Yeah. Now it's getting out of juice, okay? Yeah, it's quite milky. I kind of like it, okay? So, I mean, alcohol in food, yeah, coco bang, right? It's like French traditional dish. They marinate chicken overnight with dry red wine. I cooked once. Coco Ben, okay. Yeah. The French people, they marinate chicken in dry red wine overnight. Right? Yeah. I did that once. And it was quite good, okay. Yeah. After that, yeah, they just bake it. I mean, in the oven, right? Roast it. Right. Yeah. Although alcohol that evaporate, right? So there's a sweet taste of this dry red wine. Man. Yeah. I, I did it once. Okay. Where? When? When I was in Itaca, New York. Cornell, PhD. Okay. Yeah. One weekend I invited my fellow PhD candidates in my one bedroom apartment and they liked it. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Cheese vodka. Yeah. I kind of like it. It's kind of milky. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Kind of forced in time. Okay. Yeah. Kimchi vodka. Okay. Or pasta vodka. 
Uh, maybe if I get bored enough, yeah, I'll try that next time, okay. So, but cheese vodka, yeah, is quite good. I like it. Mi kind of milky, okay. Brie, Brie, B-R-I-E, okay, Brie, cheese vodka. It's quite good, I like it. Yeah. I'm not going to pet on this. Yeah, I'll pet on attorney, but I don't quite practice it, okay? So, yeah, it's for free, everybody, okay? Take the idea. If they want to sell, let them sell. Okay? Let them make money, all right? They don't owe me anything, okay? Yeah, if you want it, yeah, make it, sell it, make money. You don't owe me anything, okay? Yeah. Idea here is for free, free for all, okay? I like it, okay? I'm satisfied. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brie cheese vodka. It's quite good. I like it. The cheese is fermented, right? Yeah, some fungus, bacteria, virus, whatever. They do the job, right? Kimchi, too? Yeah. Vodka. Wine. Yeah. Whiskey. They are all fermented. Yeast, right? Or some fungus among us, or bacteria, virus, whatever. Yeah, kimchi. Yeah, they're fermented food, right? Kind of half rotten. But they're edible bacteria, edible fungus, like acidophilus, acid lover, right? Yeah, they're edible bacteria. And good for the gut. Yeah, bowel movement. Good bacteria. Mm -hmm. Soy sauce is fermented. Huh? Yeah. So I grew up as a child in Seoul, South Korea, and um, my grandparents, yeah, they made their own soy sauce from soybean okay i saw them doing it they make their own soy sauce fermented okay yeah with some salt right good stuff okay there's very traditional korean way to make this soy sauce from soybean okay I saw them making it, okay, my grandparents. Okay. Good stuff, okay. Very healthy food. Fermented. Fungus. Edible fungus, okay. Yeah. I saw them making it, okay? Yeah, it, it, it. <laughs> give me five minutes, okay? And I'll describe it to you. Some Korean traditional way of making soy sauce out of soybean, okay? i show you. I mean, i will describe to you. I cannot show you because there's a lot of work, okay? I can, but I can describe in words. Or maybe some whiteboard, okay? Yeah. But I cannot show you, it's too much work, okay, so. What I can show you is the cheese vodka, okay, that's what I can show you, okay. <laughs> this is really good, okay. Cheese vodka. I like it a lot, okay, so. <sighs> okay, we'll take five minutes, okay, so. Wow.
<clears throat> okay, let's do some shoe analogy, shall we? Yeah, so the copium shield spear, copium shield, copium spear theory. Okay, this is our latest found findings and discovery in human analogy, right? Yeah. Yeah, that tend to, to breach the wall of this castle. Find some wicked spot, wicked link, wicked spot, thinnest part, and they poke a hole on it and suck out the juice. Like, <sighs> yeah, like this coconut vodka, right? Yeah, it's not the wicked spot, just a little bit. I gotta refill this, okay? Give me five minutes, okay? I gotta refill this vodka, coconut vodka, okay? Because I do really like this coconut vodka. So. All right. Okay. So, I mean, I'm in America as an Asian, so, yeah, some white people, black people, Hispanic people, even some Asian people too, okay, they poke fun of me being Asian, okay, yeah, but I don't think they are racist, it's just that I'm a minority, Asian male in America, okay? So they poke fun of me sometimes, white people, black people, Hispanic people, even Asian people too, okay? 
they put fun of me being an Asian in America. Minority. Okay, this kind of wicked spot in me, right? Yeah, they just poke a hole there. Oh, you're Asian! Ah, you have that small, small, you're so small, somewhere in your body, so small. Ah! Ah! I'm like, yeah, whatever. So they poke a hole on me, minority, thin layer. We could spot, okay, and they suck out the juice, like my happiness, like, like mosquitoes, right? They, I don't think they are racists. They're just some professional jealousy, maybe, okay? Yeah. Yeah, this is attack the wicked spot, me being minority, ethnic minority, minority in America, okay? Yeah, just poking the hole, wicked spot, right? And suck the juice out of me, happiness, okay? I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm Christian, okay? So, yeah, turn the left cheek, right cheek, okay? Yeah, whatever, right? Make fun of me. Yeah, I'll donate more come of my happiness to you, right? Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, okay? Just, yeah, take my happiness away. For a while, no problem, okay. But I really like this cheese vodka, okay. So. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's very cheesy, okay. It's very milky, creamy, kind of vodka. I like it a lot. Mm. Good. <laughs> this is really good. I'm gonna get wasted. I'm gonna get drunk. <sighs> Cheese vodka. Who would have known? It's not regular cheese, it's brie. B R I E. Brie. French, okay. I like it a lot, okay. <sighs> Okay, how do traditionally Koreans make soybean sauce? Yeah, the soybean, right, they boil it, okay? And they mush it, and they make this, something like tofu out of soy. Just, they make into some cube, mushed soybean, okay? And put some water in there, and then some salt. And just, just let it rot. Formant. It's mostly fungus. Maybe some virus, bacteria, okay. Uh, mostly fungus, okay. So, yeah, they don't put anything. Yeah, just fungus among us. Just let it sit there. Water, salt, and boiled soybean. They mush it, make it into a cake, in a cube, right? Yeah, that's how they make it, okay. Just let it rot. In the open air, okay. So Alaskan natives, I heard, uh, they ferment salmon. They bury it in this mud flat, fermented salmon. I heard about that. Alaskan natives, okay. So how did Asians? Why did Asians like tooth? 20,000 years ago, 20,000 years ago, some Asians came to Alaska, Bering Strait, Aleutian Chain, okay, land bridge, right? So why did they come? And from what I've read, they came following the caribous in Siberia. There are these wonderful Asian people in Siberia. Kind of Mongolia, maybe, okay. Yeah, Siberia, they, they have this Yak, Yakut people. They domesticated caribous reindeers, okay. So, according to some stories, some theories, Asians followed caribous migrating from Russia to Alaska. 
20,000 years ago. Caribous, reindeers, okay? Yeah, they travel, right? So some heart of caribous traveling from Siberia, Russia to Alaska, and some people follow them and became Alaskan natives. The first people who came to America. Well, Alaska, then Canada, then America, and later on, Latin America, and so on, okay? Yeah, they came from Asia. Okay. They look just like me, okay? Natives. Yeah. <laughs> I like this, okay? It's a little bit too cheesy, okay? Uh, but I like it a lot. Cheese vodka, huh? <laughs> It's too fatty a little bit, okay, so, well, once in a while, I think that's fine. Yeah. So, yeah, Caribous, uh, they have been in Alaska for a very long time, okay. But later on, like, about 100 years ago, maybe 200 years ago, okay. At the turn of the century, yeah, uh, Americans government, okay, they brought some more reindeers from Siberia, okay. But that's not the original caribou, okay. Alaskan caribou, reindeers, they came here like, like more than 2000 years ago from Siberia, okay. But at the turn of the century, like 1900 or something like that, okay, yeah, they brought in more caribous. From Siberia, okay, to farm them, okay. Yeah. But caribous originally, yeah, they came here like twenty thousand years ago, okay. Yeah. Some caribou history in Alaska, okay. So. so these Yakut people, they tamed the reindeers, okay. They re ride on top of reindeers, and reindeer the sledge. Reindeer farm, okay, they milk reindeer. Yeah, they eat them too, okay. I saw it in the YouTube video, okay, so documentary. National Geography. Okay. Yakut people, okay. Asians. Very proud of them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're my fellow Asians, okay. Siberian Asians, okay, Yakut people, okay. They ride on top of reindeers, okay? That's so cool, okay? Some Mongolians, okay? Mongolia, halfway between Russia and China, okay? They tame these wild horses, and Mongolian, this horse riding skill. Long time ago, I watched some videos, okay, documentaries. They have exotic horsemanship. They can. So they are riding this horse, right? And they order this horse to lie down on the ground, sideways. Exotic horsemanship. Mongolia, okay. I saw it on television. Maybe on some documentary, okay, yeah. They are riding this horse and they make order to this horse to lie down sideways, slowly. Why? They want to hide. It's a you know, war, battle, okay? Yeah, low profile, right? They tame their horse and train the horse so that this horse, they are riding on top of the horse, right? And order this horse to lie down sideways, very slowly, to hide from their enemies, okay? <sighs> I've seen it. On television, documentary, okay? so. Some Asians are amazing, okay? They're cool. Huge fan, okay? Yeah. So yeah, I'm very proud of Asians, okay? Yeah. They're cool. Alright? Well, we'll take five minutes, maybe. Right? <sighs> Cheese vodka, I like it, okay? It's quite good.
I like it. All right, cheers, vodka. <laughs> it's good. Okay, so yeah, we take five minutes. Okay, it's quite good. Okay, yeah. I mean, French people, they eat cheese with red wine, right? So, nothing too new, okay? Alcohol and cheese, okay? Yeah, good mixture, okay? Yeah, nothing too new. All right. We'll take five minutes, okay? Okay. Yeah, cheese vodka is good, but it's kind of too cheesy, too greasy, okay? Too much fatty content, alright? So, yeah. Too much calorie there, alright? So, uh, I'd rather just stick to this fruity berry vodka instead, alright? It's just, it's too greasy, okay? Yeah, so uh, let me put it over there, alright? But it was good, okay, yeah, brie cheese, this French <sighs> Cheese, vodka, it was good, okay, so But it's too greasy, uh, it's too much fatty, too much color in there, okay, so yeah. I have to watch what, what I eat, drink Right, so but that was good, but I had enough, okay, so just rose hips vodka, okay. I mean what Shakira, Miss Shakira, beautiful Hispanic lady, okay, she said, Oh my hips don't lie. But Rose Hips Alaska, this wild rose in the fall, they make this fruit, rose hips. Okay, yeah, that's the only hips I get. So, rose hips. Hmm. They are good. Rose hip, Alaskan rose hips vodka. Okay. Where did I pick this? About yo two two years ago. During the fall, autumn time, I went to this river, hiking trail, right? 
somewhere between Anchorage and the Valley, all right? Yeah, this this very famous fishing spot, Salmon Run River, all right? So when salmon spawn the eggs, they die, right? So this salmon river bank, this rose, wild rose, they're very well fed, okay? So rose hips in the salmon river bank, very well fed, so it's bigger than other rose hips, okay? So, and less bugs, okay? Healthy immune system, they fend off all these bugs, I guess. So. And they're bigger, okay? But they're very well fed from this dead salmon, all right? High protein, fat, whatever. Okay, so yeah, so this my hair is now quite working. Okay, uh, let's change the direction. Okay, left to right. Okay, yeah. As long as my balding spot is covered, I'm happy camper. Okay, so yeah. How's that? <laughs> Better. Uh, whatever. Happy New Year, everybody, okay? Yeah, so rose hips vodka, I like it, okay? It's fruity. It kind of tastes like persimmon. Persimmon is Asiatic fruit, okay? They eat it raw when it's kind of green, uh, and then later on, after this frost, right? They become red. The texture changes, okay? So. Become very soft salmon. I mean the, the persimmon, not salmon. Okay, yeah, it's green initially, then very firm texture. They eat it. Okay, later on in the fall, they turn red. Persimmon. P e r s i m o n. Per simon. Persimmon. Okay, this Asiatic fruit. Yeah, some sometimes they dry it, okay, like this prune or <sighs> grapes, dried grapes. How do you call it in America? You Americans, how do you call it dried grapes, okay? You Americans. Go back to your country, go back to Korea, go back to Asia, you're not American enough, okay? You call us you Americans? Hmm! Well, what I, I'm trying to remember this particular vocabulary. Dried grapes. Raisins. Yeah, raisins. Okay. Yeah, dried plum prunes, right? Persimmon in Korean language is called kam. Like G A M. Okay, kam. Right? Dried kind of raisin, prune kind of uh, persimmon, they call it coca. Okay. Yeah. Very chewy, okay. Yeah, calm, yeah, persimmon is amazing. Right. I think Alaska can farm these persimmon trees. Great fruit, <sighs> they're delicious, okay. High vitamin, okay. And this Alaska and this wild rose hips kind of taste like persimmon, okay? Kind of si similar color too. Kind of orange, red, right? Yeah, similar texture as well. Yeah. So Alaska can import these persimmon trees and farm them, okay? And sell the transplant persimmon okay in alaska they can make some serious money okay so because korea alaska similar climate yeah alaska has four seasons korea has four seasons okay so any trees that grow in korea can grow in alaska okay similar climate okay yeah in korea it gets pretty cold okay in the winter Alaska, yeah, some part of Alaska get very cold. Okay, so. Some business ideas for Alaska, okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good.
We'll take five minutes break. Okay, so. Yeah. I keep running for politics, okay, so. The other politicians, I think they have doing fine job, but I think I'm smarter than they are. And many people know that, right? Yeah. I keep on running. Yeah. United States Senate seat. Yeah. I have to register it. Okay. Just a lot of paperwork. Electronically. Okay. Or in the internet. It's not too much, but it's quite an involved process. You have to sign like employer identification number and campaign bank account. I have it. Okay. I just need to fill out the form again and Quality report, campaign disclosure. We'll do it one by one, one at a time, okay, slowly, okay, because deadline for United States Senate election candidate, probably a year away. Okay, yeah, I do it slowly, step by step, little by little, okay, over time, okay, I have one year left. To file this candidacy for United States Senate. <sighs> you keep me busy, okay? So but that's great. Because devil's playground is idle hands, right? If I'm busy, yeah. No devil will come to my hands, okay? Hey devil! I'm busy. Idle hands. I have no idle hands. Okay, I'm busy hands. Okay. So yeah, there's no playground for you, Mr. Devil. Okay, so. Okay. We take five minutes break. Okay. Yeah. All Why don't we talk about Alaska natives? Okay, Alaska natives. Okay, I'm a huge fan. Okay, just wonderful crafts, arts. I'm a huge fan of these natives. Okay, they are great cultural language, beautiful language, culture. Okay, their wisdom. Like 
knowledge about edible plants, poisonous plants, okay, Alaskan natives or American natives, okay, I'm a huge fan. Very smart people, okay, so survival skill, okay, living off the land, when you get lost in the forest, yeah, this native culture knowledge will come in handy, it will save your life, okay. I learned some, okay, in the books and YouTube videos, okay, they're great, native culture, okay, very smart people, ancient wisdom, okay, 20,000 years old, they're the first people who came to America from Asia, right, huge fan, native culture, okay, they're great, okay, So yeah, Alaska natives, okay. Some of my friends are Alaska natives, all right. So and they would tell me these wonderful stories, right? Some Arctic region, way up north, okay, very cold, okay. They hunt seal, whale, and they eat whale fat, seal fat, okay? Because it's so cold out there. Yeah, fat is twice as much calorie per gram, per pound, per ounce. Fat, twice as much calorie. Okay. So yeah, Alaska natives, they learn, they know, okay, you eat fat, you can survive the winter. Okay. Yeah, there's some fish in Alaska called Ulichan, Ulichan fish. It's kind of minnow, okay, sea fish, yeah, very small fish, but high in fat. Ulichan fat, highly prized item, okay. Back in the days in Alaska, okay. Fish fat, very healthy one, okay. Ulichan, okay, it, it's, it just sounds so delicious, right? Alaska native language, beautiful, right? Yeah, I mean, some southern Alaska, like Juno, right? Yeah, Ida, right? In Canadian side, Kawa, Kua Kua Kawaku, okay, beautiful names. Aida, Kua Kua Kawaku, their craft, their totem pole, or this fine art sculpture, right, is somewhat scary. Very bold style, okay, it's very famous, okay. Well, not many people know about it, but people who know, they know, okay. Aida, Kua Kua Kawaku, okay, this South Alaska, around Juno, okay, Kitchikan, whatever. It's on Canadian side, right? Yeah, the, 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 their art style is so bold and it's somewhat scary. Even look like skeleton or ghost. Right, but it's very beautiful, awesome, awe-inspiring, okay. So much scary sometimes, okay, so. There's Alaska natives, okay, so they're cool. <coughs> huge fan, I'm a huge fan. Okay. Yeah. So I'm still reading the second volume of this Ant Feels Strong. Yeah, she was a white girl, okay. Yeah, her knees, another white girl, okay. And feels strong, Alaskan history, okay. So, great story, okay. So, second volume, I'm still reading it, okay. They describe these Alaskan natives making traps with spruce tree. I don't know how they do it, okay. So, they don't use wire, metallic wire. They use spruce tree bricks or bark and trap to trap animals. I have no idea how they do it. Okay, I looked it up. I couldn't find it. Okay, so some esoteric, exotic trapping skill by Alaska natives. Huge fan. Okay, so yeah, back in the days, okay, yeah, trading between Alaska natives and some Caucasians. Okay, so they handed out this metallic wire trap, but 
Alaska natives, they don't quite need this metallic wire trap, right? So they traded that and they got some metallic wire, but they used it for some other purposes. They spared it. Why? Because Alaska natives are so smart, wise. They don't need this metallic wire to trap animals. They use spruce tree. I have no idea how they did it, okay? But I read about it. Yeah, metallic, this wire, they use it, use it for something else. They spared it. <laughs> Smart people, right? Yeah. No idea how they trap animals with spruce trees. No clue, okay. <coughs> Smart people. I mean, Alaskan natives, yeah, there's some problem. We have domestic violence and yeah, alcoholism, drug addiction, and some homelessness, but that's everybody. It's not just Alaskan natives, okay? Yeah, all different races, they have the same problem, okay? So, yeah, some people say Alaskan natives don't have this hormone or metabolism to digest, metabolize alcohol. I don't think so. Yeah, Alaska native, they came from Asia. I'm Asian, alright? I think it's just like Alaska natives, okay, they don't, they didn't get educated from this Asian drinking culture. So alcohol is new to them, so they get addiction. From my observation and experience, okay, Alaska natives, they just drink too much. Okay, they don't know when to stop. I don't think it's about, I do not think it's about metabolism, biochemistry, genetics. I don't think so. Some people say that, okay, but I disagree. Okay. Alaska natives, this is doing too much, okay. How about you, Mr. Korean American, Alaskan? Do you know when to stop drinking? Don't you think you are drinking too much? Well, but I'm Korean American, so I learned how to drink from my father. Okay, it's Asiatic drink culture. Okay, but Alaska native they didn't quite learn that. Okay, yeah, they're Asians. Alaska natives. Okay, they came from Asia, but they like two thousand years ago, twenty thousand years ago. Okay, so they didn't have quite Drinking culture evolved evolution, okay. But Korea, China, Japan, Taiwan, okay. Drinking culture, we learn how to drink from our fathers, okay. We learn how to control drinking. We learn how to behave when we are drunk. We learn it right from our fathers. Okay? This is the Asian drinking culture. Okay? Yeah, I know when to stop drinking. I control my drinking, okay, yeah. And I know how to behave when I'm still drunk. Yeah, chi kwan. Chi means drunk, kwan means fist. Yeah, it's drunken style my heart, right? China, okay. Jackie Chan, drunk master, right? Yeah, in China, Kung Fu, it has to do with literature, religion, philosophy, okay, and then drinking culture and martial arts, right? There's some profound philosophy. That's why I'm a huge fan of Chinese martial arts. It's not just martial arts, okay? It is philosophy, poetry, literature, come with it, okay? Yeah, Chikon style, this drunk master, Mr. Jackie Chan, back in 1970s, 80s, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I may be drunk, but my mind is as clear as silver mirror. With back in the days, yeah, mirror, they made with silver, okay. Yeah, I may be drunk, my body is drunk, but my mind is as clear as silver mirror, okay. Okay, yeah. Drunk master poetry, okay. Yeah, just kung fu, five animal form, right. 
more than that, like eagle spread his wing, right? This eagle style, right? Oh, dragon protect his this dragon ball, yoiju, whatever. Okay. Yeah, monkey just looking at the landscape, scratching his head, whatever. Okay. Oh, tiger, right? Yeah, right. Making some gesture. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the poetry go along with this kung fu. Okay, that's Chinese martial art. I'm a huge fan. Okay, my favorite. Yeah, it's Chinese martial art. Okay, that's my favorite martial art. Kung fu, Buddhist, Tai Chi, Taoist. That's great too. Okay, but Shaolin Kung Fu, Sorimsa, Small Forest Temple. Okay, I'm a huge fan. Okay, that's my favorite. It's so beautiful. Aesthetic quality, okay, and also ethical quality. Shaolin Temple, okay, this Chinese Kung Fu coming along with Chinese India Buddhism and It's so beautiful, okay. So it's another dimension, okay. Yeah, Japanese martial arts, Jiu-Jitsu, that's great, okay. Kung Fu, yeah, Japanese martial arts, like Judo, Jiu-Jitsu, Kendo, they use bamboo stick, right? It's great, yeah, Japanese martial arts is cool, okay. It's beautiful, okay. Jiu-Jitsu, Judo, Aikido, Kendo, Karate, it's so cool, okay. Uh, Korea martial art, Taekwondo, very beautiful, like jump kick, high kicks, okay, you're breaking this wooden panel, yeah, I used to do that too when I was in Korea, okay. I didn't break any bricks, but some people did, okay. Just wooden panel, very thin, yeah, punching, kicking, yeah, I did that, okay. But bricks, they're too much, okay, yeah, I'm not that hardcore, okay, but some Koreans did, okay, Taekwondo, yeah, it's very fancy, very glamorous. Taekwondo jump kick is beautiful, okay? Yeah, Taekwondo is one of the most beautiful martial arts. Very flashy, flamboyant, okay? It's all cool, okay? But my favorite is Chinese Kung Fu. Because it has to do with philosophy, religion, animals, tiger style, and then this crane style, right? Right, and this leopard, right, dragon, right, and the snake, right, yeah, I'm a huge fan, okay, Chinese Kung Fu, that's my favorite, okay, it's so beautiful, the Shaolin Temple, Sorimsa, okay, small forest temple, Buddhist temple. They do this, right? Right? Yeah, you have fist, but you are controlling your fist and you bow, okay? Right? Chinese martial art, so respectful, right? <laughs> Ethics. Philosophy, morality, religion, history, Chinese Kung Fu, right? Yeah, you have fist, force, but you are controlling it. Respect. Right? Beautiful, right? Who's fan, right? And in karate, yeah, they teach them. Yeah, when you bow down, do like this. Yeah, do not be complacent. Don't bow down like this. Yeah, bow down like this. Don't be complacent. Yeah, because he's your enemy. 
Hey, right, good. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, but in Chinese style, they do like this. Okay? You can bow down, but with your eyeball, you can still look up like this. Okay. Yeah, I'm bowing down. I'm not doing like this. Okay, like Japanese karate. Like, I, I'm not doing no. I'm looking up, not with my head, but my eyes. Okay. Yeah, I can still see you. With my eyeballs, it's up, okay. You don't get to see it, right? My eyes are so small, okay, whatever. Yeah! Ah! <gasps> Ooh! Look at the Asian guy eyeball! Oh! Oh! oh. Some strange, weird old Asian, Alaskan, aging, ASS, so-called American. Oh, you are not American enough. Okay, go back to your country, okay? Go back to Korea, please. Get some Korean girl. Get married, have some Korean kids. That's what my parents told me. <laughs> yeah, my parents in South Korea, they want me to come back to Korea. Marry a Korean girl, have Korean kids, okay, yeah. I talk to them, okay, they're cool. Happy New Year, Mommy, Daddy, I love you. Oh, my brothers and sisters, oh, I love you. Happy New Year. Oh. But I don't think I'm going to get married, okay, because I, I'm busy, right? I got to do humanology, politics, my lawyer job, okay, so. Yeah, I'm too busy, okay, so, for marriage. But I appreciate who, people who get married, okay. Very important. Have kids, right? Same race, opposite gender, right? Children, yeah, it's beautiful, okay. We need people who get married, okay. Oh, children, they're so beautiful, right? Yeah. Same race, opposite gender, marriage, okay. If you're gonna have kids, okay. So. Yeah. It's division of labor. Some of us, we are better off being single, okay? But some others who can handle the family, just like special forces, elitism, like Harvard, Yale, Stanford, Berkeley, okay? It takes a lot of effort to hold up a family marriage. <laughs> I cannot do it. I'm not an elite. People who got married, stay together, raise children, to me, that's elites. Saints. I'm not a saint. I'm not an elite. I'm laid back. Look at me. I drink vodka, whiskey, wine. I cannot handle that kind of pressure, okay? Having a family, getting married, have kids. <sighs> Too much work. If I ever get married, I'll probably get divorced in a week, in a month, in a year, okay? I cannot handle that kind of workload. <sighs> no. I will Monday through Friday. 9 to 5, 40 hours a week. To me, that's enough, okay? When I come home, I want to be alone. Alright. So, no, no family, no marriage, no children. I cannot handle it. Some people can. Yeah, there's special forces, rangers, delta force, elites. Harvard, Yale, Stanford, Berkeley, okay. I'm not that, okay. Well, some people can, okay, including my own parents. They never divorced. My parents, they got married like in 1960s. Right? I had 
me, my siblings, okay, they never divorced. I saw them fight, argue, verbal. Not physically, but verbally, okay, yeah, they would argue, okay, sometimes, okay, but just like any family, okay. But they, they, they never was divorced. They're still together. They're in their seventies, my parents, okay. I admire them, okay. I cannot do it, no! My, some of my siblings are married, okay. Yeah, they have kids, okay. I'm a uncle. Yeah, I have nephew, niece. Okay, they're great, okay. I can't do it, okay. It takes too much effort. I'm not elite. Special Forces, Delta Force, Ranger, Infantry, Hava, Yale, Buckley, okay. I'm not dead, okay. I'm just laid back. Maybe I'm lazy. At the same time, I'm kind of busy. Humanology, politics, lawyer job, okay. I have no time, okay, for family. But do I want to date sometimes? Yeah, you be nice, okay. Yeah, I meet a lady, okay. She's single, okay. Yeah, she's around my age, okay. She's single, lady. I'm single guy, around the same age, okay. You kind of late forties, whatever, okay. It be nice, All right? But it doesn't happen. Yeah, ladies they don't think much of me, okay? They think I'm a weirdo. And they are right. I am a weirdo. I'm strange. But I'm not criminal. I'm not bad. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a bad person. I just happen to be ideological minority. And ladies they don't like that, okay? So yeah. Ladies, okay. King Solomon said, Book of Ecclesiastes. Book of Ecclesiastes, right? Old Testament Bible. Yeah, you can find one man, but you will not find any woman. I understand that, okay. Yeah, ladies, yeah, money, power, fame, this go along mainstream, okay? So, but we guys, this is one guy who go against the mainstream. Right? Yeah, it's in Bible. Book of Ecclesiastes, King Solomon, okay? Yeah, you will find no woman, but you will find one man. Okay. Ladies, yeah, go along mainstream majoritarian views, okay, money, power, fame. That's what they like, right? But this one man who go against upstream, against the mainstream, we are not death salmon, we are live salmon. You go upstream, okay? The distinction between dead fish, live fish. Dead fish go along the mainstream. Gravitation, okay? Go along the mainstream, they throw down, okay? Like, oh, I'm a dead fish, I'm a zombie fish, okay? But live fish, they go upstream. Right? There's like one man. But there are no women who do that. Yeah, females, yeah, they go on mainstream majoritarian views, right? Money, power, fame, that's what they do. Harvey Weinstein, yeah, go to the, his hotel room. After that, yeah, they sue him in court, okay? Yeah, me too, woman. <laughs> P.S., okay. Oh, yeah, Black Lives Matter, all these females. Oh, Black Lives Matter! Majority are mainstream, 
big ideology, okay? LGBT. Oh, oh LGBT. Yeah, Lady Gaga. Yeah. Billie Eilish. Yeah. Plastic surgery and dying hair and whatever, okay? Tattoo piercing. Yeah, ladies. Yeah, go along with majoritarian mainstream, okay? Tattoo piercing, marijuana. Billy Irish, Lady Gaga, LGBT, okay? That's how ladies are, okay? And most guys are like that too. But this one man! King Solomon said that in the book of Ecclesiastes, Old Testament Bible, okay? You are the best seller ever, right? Yeah, you will not find any woman, but you will find one man. Because we guys, you can be solo, right? You may be single. You are not cri criminal. No. We commit no crimes. I we may drink some of us. Yeah, but so what? We don't drink and drive. We break no law. We are law abiding. Hard-working citizen, all right, in any country, okay. This is one guy, one man, who stand up against these mainstream ideologies, okay. Not me, because I'm too lazy, okay. I'm just sit-down comedian. I'm not stand-up comedian, okay. Yeah, I'm kind of lazy, okay. But maybe I'm not that, okay. Maybe you are, okay. Are you a lady? Yeah, it could be you. One lady, okay? Sure. Yeah, make history, okay? Let's take five minutes, okay? Let's take five minutes, okay? And some vocal rest, please. Happy New Year. Okay. Let's take five minutes. Okay. Right.
Okay, we are back. Yeah, let's do some martial arts. Okay, I'm sorry about long break. Okay, I just gotta I have to chat with my friends. Okay, happy new year. Yeah, message. Yeah, martial arts. Okay, it's a fist. Yeah, martial arts, kung fu, snake style, this eagle claw, right? Right, yeah. No, no, it's whatever. Okay, yeah. Tiger style, right? Yeah, like yeah, right. Oh, yeah, just crayon style, right? Like okay, yeah, whatever. Okay, so Paragon, yeah, shoot all, yeah, it, it happens once in a while in America because Americans they love guns, right? Yeah, I've gone to okay. We need guns because in Alaska we do. Okay, they are bears. Okay, yeah, we are bears in Alaska. Okay, yeah, we need guns. Okay, so we need guns to fend off bears because I mean <laughs> grizzlies. Okay, they're hungry, bigger, faster, stronger. All right? Yeah, we cannot quite fight bears as a human being. We need gun, alright. Superior intelligence, this gun invention, okay. <sighs> Originated from Chinese fire fireworks, okay. So, yeah, gun powder, okay. Originated from China, okay. Eastern Asia fireworks, okay. Yeah, Westerners, they learn from that, okay, they, they invented this gun, okay, we need that, okay, Alaskan bear, grizzlies, okay, <laughs> you cannot fight them, okay, yeah, you need some gun, alright. I don't know if Bruce Lee, Jet Li, Jackie Chan, Sam Hong, Yuan Pao, I don't think if they can actually fight grizzly bears, Jacob Van Damme or Aikido, Guy, what's his name? Yeah, Steven Seagal. I don't think they can fight bears, Alaskan grizzly bears, okay. They, they claw, okay, bear, this. Swipe, wipe, okay, wipe out, yeah. Hungry grizzly bears, they're very big, very strong, very fast. I don't think any martial artist can fight them, okay. So we have guns, okay, yeah. When they come, yeah, we shoot them, okay, so. So, martial arts. Oh, martial arts is so useless, okay, yeah, what if there's this, this shopping mall church school shooter with guns, okay? What are you gonna do? Well, principle or collusion, if shooter is far away, Behind the veil, curtain, or sheet of this paper, just duck down, you crawl under the ground, right? With your limb, okay? Get out of there. What if this gun shooter have hostage? You throw something, okay? To distract that gun shooter, okay? If this gun or rifle, it's too easy, just grab it, okay? Punch, kick, yeah, dislocate, okay, this is some martial art use esoteric martial art skill about that, okay. You grab, yeah, gone, okay, yeah, you have gone, knife, okay, you grab, you get very close, okay. Grab his arm and dislocate, pop up this uh, guy's arm from his shoulder, okay, just you know, grab, pop, okay, dislocation, okay, he's done. Okay. Yeah, close contact, okay, you grab his leg, okay, and kick the torso joint, the pelvis area, okay, you dislocate his leg. Right. He's too far away, you duck down, okay, crawl under the ground, and principle of occlusion, okay, Be hide behind the veil, curtain, sheet of paper. He, he, he does not know where to shoot. 
you have more chance probability to survive. Just get out there, okay? Get out of there. If they this gun or has a heart, they throw something, okay? All right. Distract him and go get him. That's what I would do. If this gunner with a gun or a knife have some hostage, I'm not gonna run away from that situation. I'll throw something, distract him, and I'll go f after him. I finish him, okay? So I, no hostage, okay? You cannot kill a person. They talk about police brutality. How about criminal brutality? They don't care. They're animals, okay? They kill people, right? We have to stop them. We may even have to kill them, right? But they're killing people. Rapists, murderers, thieves. We have to stop them. Okay? No, it's just this way they have knife, gone. They're killing people. We have to stop them, okay? I'm not gonna just run away, right? I'll do something about it. Because by now I know you know my heart. I may die from that scene. But I cannot let this gun or knife or sword. I cannot let them just kill people. I cannot. I have to stop that guy. I cannot let him kill people. I have to stop him, even if I have to kill him, even if he will kill me. I have to do something about it. Okay. But we have to be think strategically, okay? Let's get smart, right? Yeah. Yeah, throw something, distract him, okay, and crawl under the ground, okay, and buy some time, okay, but when he's about to kill somebody, well, I have to go after him, okay, it's because I cannot let him kill somebody else. He can kill me, I can kill him, okay, whatever, okay, we go to hell together, okay, no problem. But I, I will not let anybody kill somebody, okay, it's because I have to stop it. Why? I'm a man. Right? I cannot let some another man to kill somebody else. No. I will stop him cold. Okay. He may stop me, I may die, okay, or I may end up killing him, he may end up killing me, we may end up killing each other, okay, but don't kill anybody else, okay? So You and I, yeah, well not you, but this criminal guy and me, yeah, you may end up killing me, I may end up killing you, okay, we may end up killing each other, we can go to hell together, okay, no problem. Just don't kill anybody else. I'm a man, okay, so when violence happens around me, I will stop you. I will not allow you to kill somebody else. You can kill me, or I can kill you, or, okay, or you, you and I, we may kill each other, okay? We go down the hell, go down the hell after life together, okay? No problem, okay? But do, do, just don't kill anybody else, okay? If you want to, yeah, I'll stop you. Because I'm a man. I'm very protective of women, children, elderly, disabled, innocent people, okay? They don't deserve to die, okay? So you cannot kill people, okay? So you can kill me, I can kill you, we can kill each other, okay? But don't kill any other world, people, okay? But how about we leave? 
as opposed to killing each other. Okay, yeah, have some drink. Okay, have some vodka. I prefer vodka. Okay. What's your story, man? Huh? You're suicidal, homicidal, but it's not necessary that you do that, right? Let's have a drink, okay? Let's smoke cigarettes, have some chat. But no marijuana, no tattoo piercing, no, no, no obesity, no, that cheesy vodka, oh my goodness, it's too much fat. Yeah, it's a fruity vodka, rose hips vodka, okay, uh, some blueberry vodka, crowberry vodka, okay, I have that, okay, so, but that cheesy vodka, it was too much, okay, so, yeah, some beer, wine, okay, so, let's be friends, okay. Instead of killing each other, let's live together. You get a job, okay? What's your story, okay? Yeah, tell me, okay? I'll listen to you. Right? There's no need for violence. Okay? It's not necessary. You don't have to kill me. I don't have to kill you. You don't have to kill anybody, okay? Just let's make peace. Truce. Let's stop the war, okay? We can work this out, right? Let's just tell us your story, okay? What's your sorrow, sadness, misery? What's your experience? Why do you want to kill yourself, your personality, other people? What's your story? Why are you so angry? Huh? Tell us, we are all yours, okay? You have a drink, okay? Take a shot, vodka, okay? Whiskey, I have it, okay? Just don't kill people, okay? You just stop the violence, right? Put the gun down, okay? Man, put the gun down, okay? So, put the knife down, okay? So, right? Have some drink. Take a shot, okay? I have vodka, whiskey, wine, beer. Alright, just tell me your story, okay? So you, we don't have to kill each other, okay? And you don't have to kill anybody else, okay? You just drink some vodka, whiskey, and tell us your story, okay? Why are you so angry? What happened to you? That's what I would say, okay. Alright, Happy New Year. I'm sorry it became kind of like fictional, horrific, horror flick, horror movie, okay. Well, I'm alone in Alaska, okay, so anything goes. Welcome to Humanology and Happy New Year. Thank you. Good night, bye.